Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Kutzarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly up, uh, it's not weekly, it's monthly tarot reading for October 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards <coughs> I want to remind you that this is going to be a general reading for Gemini Star Sign um, and uh, this is not your personal reading therefore I will explain you the meanings of the cards their synergy in the sprite but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situations throughout the month if you want me to do that for you well that is the subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and something else if you find these reports helpful you can uh, also purchase a um, extensive tarot reading for the month for dollar 49 in which reading we kind of focus more deeply into career and personal life <coughs> for the representative star sign you can do so as well on my website again listed down below in the description of this video so going to the tarot spread the first card here will show us um, the the very start of the month, how you Geminis are going to enter into the month. The second card is going to represent the best possible course of action or what should be attended to. The third card is about the challenges that uh, you Gemini has to face throughout the month. The fourth card here is about the resources that you can rely on. And the final card is about the final outcome or the new perspective it does depend how the reading goes so let's see what you got what will be the very start of the month for you Gemini's we do have a winner here Ace of Cups so the immediate things that you should uh, kinda attend to the Ace of Cups into a very general sense it means that uh, unexpected events are going to happen which are going to make your current issues worries predicaments problems etc totally irrelevant that is a total shift for the better into one's life and into one's fields you know either career or other relationships but the ace of cups there is nothing more to be said when it is general apart from that something very pleasant is going to happen you know many tarot readers is associating it with love it could be all right but doesn't necessarily has to be you know it could happen into your career and that could be the unexpected promotion it could be unexpected uh, you know a drop of blockage upon a certain project in which you can kind of prove yourself very capable etc etc or it could be an expected raise of one salary that makes you know the predicaments over money totally irrelevant any longer whatever it is guys the ace of cups points that at the start of the month or the very first things that are going to happen um in this month for you are going to overflow your heart with joy and literally everything will look different and much more bright when you look it through that overflowing joy to a point where it's going to transcend your daily reality into something much much better so um what else can i say here apart from that if you are feeling lonely it will be imperative that you go out and start dating because this card points that you are going to fall exactly on the person you are expecting to you know as a criteria i mean or if you are jobless well that card encourages you to start really applying for jobs because the uh, a very good job is going to find it find its way towards you and what will be the immediate um what will be the best course of action here we do have the magician card so how you should tackle with the ace of cups first of all the magician points that you should rely on your sovereignty here your iron will and your determination by the way the determination is something imperative when we're talking about the magician because this card points that it will be required actions so we can see here that the ace of cups is not going to happen on its own but it has to be provoked and it has to be provoked with your actions 
and uh, in order to do so as I said you have you need to have a strong determination behind your actions literally these couple of cards asks you to start working for what you think is going to make you happy all right without taking under much of a consideration what the others think of it uh, think of it you know or what the others want you to do you know it, it all falls to what you want to do also the magician card points that as soon as these things happen they need to be nurtured they need to be cultivated and they need to be worked over again and again and also asks you to rely a lot on your uh, communicative uh, communicational skills because it does look like that this month you're going to win a lot when you kind of rely on them and you because you will be able to convince a lot of people around your points of view or around your agenda and therefore you're going to be able to win a lot of followers behind very good card for those who are um, having private business for those who are working with a lot of people you know for example uh, real estate agent etc etc but the magician card um, it generally also may urges you you know to obtain a certain qualification so that could be you know a, a promise of for example promotion but you need to have that qualification which is going to take a couple of weeks for you to obtain or it could be a, a promise for a new relationship but you need to do something that will be in benefit for both of you so it could be also a, a condition here to be uh, accomplished the challenges that you are going to have to overcome here we do have the king of swords and that should be a person <clears throat> that falls and this is a person that you need to uh, overcome in a sense where you have to prove yourself in front of him most likely career orientated or if it is a personal uh, uh, for a personal life that could be a, a family member of your family or of the family of uh, your chosen person you know the person that you want to be with or the person that you are with now <clears throat> the king of swords is someone who is all known pretending person and the worst thing is that they don't know that they don't know everything all right so it will it will be very hard for you to uh, kind of prove your point of view in front of them and that's why we do have the magician here which asks you to kind of really rely on your communicational skills when it comes to tackling with this person it is very important to know that if this is someone from your career for example and this is a person who sits above you they will feel no remorse of exerting power over you and over your colleagues and over your project as well uh, and to use these things for their own personal means now the king of cup the king of swords is totally depraved from any kind of emotional attachments therefore they will not feel themselves bad guilty etc etc if they kind of like act a little bit of a in a surreptitious way so that being said throughout this month of course this is a challenge to be overcome but as a minor arcana it doesn't mean that you have to even confront that person so it will be beneficial for you to uh, kind of avoid people who are very resilient in listening to what you have to say this is the best way how you can overcome this person then what we do have here is the uh, means or kind of the uh, resources that you can rely on and these resources points to oh, how can I play that is a support but it is very different from um, from the casual support people uh, people receive this is a um, this is a support where people kind of um, makes your environment very easy and, and I will try to explain it here. Let's say that um, I will try to give you a variation. Let's say that uh, you do have your opportunity for promotion here with the Ace of Cups. Or uh, you sign yourself for the, uh, for the additional qualification. But your boss is really giving you a hard time. They don't want to understand, you know, that you don't have uh, more than 24 hours around you. And you cannot, you know... In the simultaneously do 
the qualification and in the same time attend to everything that they throw at you. And so what happens here is, is that your co-workers, your colleagues, etc, etc, uh, <clears throat> and the people that you're working with, with are going to understand you very well what you're going through and they're going to kind of like uh, give you the easy time. They're going to support you throughout that development. So this is a support based on the emotional connection here. This is a support where people will really want to share your positivity, your positive um, uh, fortune and your negative fortune as well because the two of cups points that uh, I always like to say that that shared pain is half the pain and shared happiness is double happiness so um, <clears throat> that doesn't have to be applied as well only into your um, career right that could be as well into your social circle and into your uh, into your relationship if it is about your relationship that kind of points that you can always rely on your partner so if this is a about a family mem member of their side you you are reassured here that your partner which is their children you know will take your side all right and if it is about a friendship circle then you, you know that your friends will stand behind your back whatever predicaments you are facing against this person here so generally you will have the support of the people that you have emotional connection with not everybody will support you but only those in which with which you do have emotional connection with and also obviously you can rely on the love of the beloved people around you your family you know your partner i already said that etc etc and uh one more thing you can rely as well on the harmonious environment into your social circle and into your career and at the end what we do have here is the final outcome or the new perspective that will be the final outcome eight of swords so the eight of swords points to a couple of things first of all you um, this in some cases that card could express disturbance into one communication and as we do have a supportive card of communication here which is the magician card it means that <clears throat> at the end you may face a really stubborn people who does see your point of view they know that you are right but just because they have to admit that they are wrong you know they will not going to do so so what we are what we are seeing here it could be a an undertaking which is uh, a f utterly futile because you know there are unyielding and very very stubborn people involved in and at the end the eight of swords also could point that you are establishing yourself a, a certain goal that will be very hard to detach of if um, if once you know established or once start um, you start working upon so this card is like a warning at the end Gemini and it says that you should do only what you are hundred um, percent convinced that it is best for you because anything you establish as a undertaking has to be brought to its very end you will not be able to detach from it very lightly so this could involve certain contracts strings you know or um <clears throat> in general leverages that people may have for you so you are warned here from that reading and especially as we do have the king of swords and i said that this person has not has, doesn't feel any remorse of acting in a surreptitious way it is how they may try to bind you to their will so that being said this was your uh, monthly tarot reading gemini for october 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this is a, a general reading for gemini star sign for october 2018 this is not your personal reading and therefore i have explained you the meanings of the cards you know their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings and as well for extended monthly tar reading we in which we are focusing more upon uh, entirely excuse me upon the career and relationship life for the representative star sign please check out my website 
which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and that extended tower reading costs only $1.49. So that being said, Brad signing out now, see you next time. Bye!